That's kind of cool. I want to write. Um, what should I write, guys? Or type? I can't. I guess that's another thing is with anything with the Meverse or even in your profile comment, you can't advertise anything. Because in my Meverse profile, I had um, just I had my Twitch TV, my Twitter account, and my YouTube account, all my profile, and it wouldn't look, it wouldn't let me post it. Or I guess I posted it, but then it got flagged as advertising. So you can't do that. Uh, but I beat this level live on Twitch. I beat level live. How about that? <laughs> Something stupid. I beat this level. There's my terrible handwriting. I beat this level live. <laughs> Post. Yes. I better not put live on Twitch TV, then they'll probably get flagged. And Nintendo's being really picky with me first. So, like, if somebody is playing this level in their Nintendo Land and they beat this level, then on their side of the screen, I guess I can show it right here. It'll show my little comment and say, I beat this level live. Oh, cool. So I think if I play, this is the balloon fight attraction. If I play this right now, I think I get double the coins. Eh, we'll skip it. Because I want to move on to some of the other games. So, we'll do the Pikmin one, and then we'll do Metroid, and then we'll start Scribble Knots. That'll be the next game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll show the friends list real quick. So, this is the home menu. It looks pretty similar to, uh, to the Wii. And, um, we'll show. No, it doesn't show in here. So, when you're in-game, you can look at your friends list. You can... Look at Meverse. You can go to the eShop, where basically you buy games and stuff. You can get on the internet. And uh, I don't know about Nintendo TV yet. As of right now, Nintendo TV is not out yet. It's supposed to be out next month. Which basically you can use like Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, and Hulu Plus. I think YouTube is part of it too. And that's how you like watch movies and stuff. I think Nintendo is going to have their own downloads and stuff too. And download management. So I think it's kind of like the Xbox 360 where you can play games offline and you can download games at the same time. I want to save Zombie U for last. I think right now Zombie U is probably my favorite Wii game now. Or Wii U game. But we'll look at the friends list real quick. Here's a friends list. We're now friends with Mr. Hale. So here's me up here. It shows what my friends are doing or what they're playing. You can also hide it too, so they can't see you see what you're playing. But I don't see. I have like a million friends. All these friends are from GiantBomb.com. This is where I got like all of these. So you look at here's Jeff Gersman from GiantBomb.com. Giant Bomb. All the friends, a bunch, and then I have a few more requests too. Here's Raw Meat Cowboy from GoNintendo.com, but uh, I tried to add him through Meavers and it wouldn't let me. So I wonder if his friends list is full already or something. Who knows? Okay. A little later, I'll show the I'll show Meavers. So let's do Pikmin next. Is the console light or the controller? If we're talking about the controller, I, th I think it's light. It kind of has a little heft to it. It's not like super light like a cheap ass toy, but it has a little heft, but it's not heavy. So where's the... I'm going to grab a 360 controller. Oh 
Okay. I think... Okay, so here's the gamepad. And here's the 360 controller. I think it's... Yeah, see, Xbox 360. I think it might be a little bit heavier than this, but it's not, like, super duper heavy. Oh my god, this controller feels so small compared to the gamepad. I'm, like, super used to the gamepad already. It's, like, super giant. Alright, I'll do challenge. And this, you can play as Olimar if you're using the gamepad, or if you're using a Wii remote, you can play as the Pikmin. We'll do Olimar, because I'm using the gamepad. We'll do level 2. <laughs> Olimar. Olimar is probably the weirdest Nintendo character. So yeah, so... What they want you to do is, when you play this game, okay, you're supposed to like hold it like this with one hand and then use your stylus. They want you to use their stylus, not your finger with this game. So basically, you're kind of playing like Kid Icarus from the 3DS. Look at the game patch screen. And there's the me. When you're playing by yourself, the me is computer AI. But if, I think if you're playing two players, then one player is Olimar and the other player is the me. Or you can have other. You can have up the uh, four me's with you. But since I'm playing by myself, he'll be AI. One, go. So basically, what you're seeing on the screen is pretty much what I'm seeing. Except it's a little bit pulled out, like the camera view. So I go to these blocks and I just touch them with, with my stylus and I break them. This is a bomb. It will explode if you pick it up and throw it. That's self-explanatory. That's Monita. She's kind of like the guy at Nintendo Land. So that, and throw it at that. So this game kind of feels, kind of feels like a, a like a, a DS game, sort of. So I have the little Pikmin with me, and there's a little AI dude. He's helping me. You get the food, and you level up. Your Pikmin, you get stronger, and then I think you get more Pikmin, too. Then call him. Go get him! Yeah! Oh, he's not dead yet. Get hurt. I've never played this level, so... I'll throw him there. Call him so I can hold him. This is a jump switch. It will activate when Olimar stands on it and calls the pigment. Whoa, dude! And that is Dark Monita. She's like the main bad guy in this attraction. I think, can I break those? Go get him! Ouch! Ah. So basically, the hearts are kind of like lives. Throw it at that guy. I don't know if it hurts the Pikmin around it, though. So basically, you want to stay at a distance when you're playing this. Because I think. If you're Olimar, you die pretty quickly. The enemies get up on you quick. Check the giant. Ooh, what's that? This is a hammer scene. Pick these up to equip your Pikmin with a thunderous attack. They also provide protection that will block one enemy attack. Well, you heard the lady. Then get the food and level up. Olimar got an item. Oh, cool. Um, okay, cool. Alright, let's go here. I think at the end of each level there's always a boss. Dark Monita. Alright. So... Oh, do they keep it? Oh, cool. I thought maybe it was like a one-use item. So their heads are basically hammerheads now. That's cool.
I'm just try these blocks so I can get in here better. Okay. Yeah. Come back. Attack the big one. <laughs> these creatures can eat you and then they turn you into poop. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Kill them. Level five. Let's break this. Call that my AI, dude. Can I break these? What's this? Oh, cool. What's down here? Oh, I don't want to fall down there. Okay. Let's not go that way. <laughs> I'm tapping on them. I'm kind of curious if Pikmin 3 is going to play like this. I'm really curious. You're playing Pokemans and watching cool beans. Level up my dudes. A giant hammerhead. The levels are actually decent length in this Pikmin one. Oh, <gasps> no way. You heard the lady. So I think Pikmin we go leaf and then go into bud and then go into flower like this. And flower is the strongest for Pikmin. That's how it works in the the real Pikmin games. Damn. Well, the me hasn't leveled up yet though. Get here. There you go. Whoa. Dang, I'm surprised how long these levels are. Like, the first one was maybe like five minutes long. This one's a lot longer than the first level. I'm gonna watch out for these guys. Yeah, kill him! I'll kill this one. I think I picked up the rock. Kill him! Ooh, coin. Or a block, anyways. Ooh, cool. I already had that, though. Your console. Yeah, my console backlog is huge, too. Oh, the boss. Oh, it's a giant blue purple thingy. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh no, I got hit. My Pikmin are dying. Oh shoot! Oh man, that was close. Some bombs, I should pick one of those up. I guess I have to pick them up. Oh, that got me. Explosion radius is actually pretty big. Oh no! I'm like losing Pikmin like no other. Also, when your Pikmin die and come back, I think they become weaker. So now they're only a bud state. Damn! It's tough. Yeah, the battery isn't too great on the gamepad. It's like three and f between three and five hours. I have it on the lowest brighting the bri 